Hello, Tim here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about hide glue. And what I have in this jar here is just uh, dry granules. I find this uh, dry hide glue very advantageous for, especially for uh, restoring antiques or for repairs where hide glue was used originally. If you're going to glue down some veneer or some part of a decoration on a piece of furniture, an antique, especially as something that has a profile like a carving and you can't put a clamp on it. So then what you do is you mix a little high glue and when it, when it cools, it's, it's, there's a suction and it holds in place. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of what I do, uh, especially if I do a field repair, go to, go to uh, on location somewhere. I always have hide glue in my toolbox. It, it won't freeze in this form and it won't, uh, it won't get old or out of date. The other thing is that uh, it's reversible. So like when you put together a violin or some uh, instrument, they use high glue or rabbit skin glue, it's called. What I'm going to do here is, is a little bit of shortcut for a small quantity. Now, if I was going to do a lot of gluing or a lot of veneer work, then I would use my glue pot here, which I haven't used for some time. But this has got an inner jacket here that gets the heat and transfer it into this so it, it kind of controls the heat so that this it doesn't burn. So what you do is you put put the glue in there and then saturate it with water, soak, soak with water and it swells up kind of like like oatmeal does and then t plug it in and, and turn the heat on and in a, a matter of minutes then it's it's ready to use and it, when it's hot like that it's, it's very liquid, it's uh, very viscous, it, it, it drips. When it starts to cool down, it gets more like jelly. When I'm using this glue pot and I just use a regular brush or um, something to spread the glue around, I have a, um, a cover that I made for it to keep it wet inside there. If you don't have it covered while it's hot, the, the water evaporates out of it and it gets to be like a, a hard crust. It kind of turns back to a, a solid. If, it, if the water goes out of it, just add more water, and then that's it, then that works. And this, this I've used this a number of times, but only when I'm doing a, a more work on a small repair. Like if I'm going to glue these on, I'm just using this as a demonstration. What I do then is I just take a little bit of of this stuff here, pour it into. This is just a little uh, ceramic dish that I got at a surplus store and I'm also putting it on top you don't have to do this here but I'm putting it on top of a, a piece of steel quarter inch steel so I don't burn my tabletop but also it'll help keep some heat in there now I add a little water and it ends up looking like a slurry like this here when you put the water in here it doesn't matter too much just a little bit to just get it just a little bit saturated, like you would if you're putting water on your oatmeal. It's kind of the same type of thing. It'll swell up, and if it's too much water, um, it's, it's a little too thin, then you might have to add some more glue into it. Once in a while, I've, I've done this on a job site, and I've used the, uh, the homeowner's microwave oven, uh, microwave, and set it for about 10 seconds, for about this much. You could put it in a Dixie cup or something like that and mix up uh, just a little bit. I'm going to use a heat gun here. It's going to make a little bit of noise. I'm adding a little more water. Okay, I'm done with the this plate's a little warm now and that dish is warm so it'll stay hot for a while when it drips like that just like kind of like syrup just like that then it's good to go and I, all I do is just brush it on like this in this particular case and if I was going to apply this right here you just rub it a little bit and leave it alone and in about 
two hours or so it'll be good like this here now let's say you had to disassemble this once this cools down there'll be kind of a suction it'll, it'll be really solid it'll hold on there really good um, if you needed to take this off for some reason, like you're going to take uh, a, a piece of furniture apart that was put together with hide glue, uh, vinegar, a distilled, white distilled vinegar will take it off. So that'll just, one. that's one advantage of, of hide glue. In another video, I'll show you how I use, uh, use hide glue for veneering. In this case here, I just wanted to show uh, quickly, a, a really quick, simple way to use some glue uh, that keeps for a long time and and has some virtues to it, though it's a little bit of a nuisance if you're going to do a big assembly because this stuff will cool down quicker than you can um, work with it sometimes, get it all put together. But that's it. So that's how I use high glue, just a little quick tip on on how to heat it without using a big glue pot or expensive materials. Just don't overheat it and just make sure that you have something that will end up dripping like um, syrup, I guess. And uh, now it's starting to cool down. It'll be a little bit more like uh, jello in a, just a minute or two. I just would have to reheat it again. But that's it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.